Hi, everybody. Uh, Tim Virgin, the men of disclosure. Brothers. Yeah. Brothers Lawrence, we'll call you. Brothers Lawrence, yeah. Is that good? People do it? Ever was that the first? It's good. I mean, we used to be the teenage duo, but then we grew up. <laughs> hotels, yeah. when we check into hotels, they still like go like, Lawrence? And then like the next right room and another lawrence like it's gone how they're like oh got your first name down as lawrence yeah yeah, yeah. fine yeah. but see look now your disclosure just go by that yeah do you guys don't make <laughs> fake names in hotel rooms no no uh, we should probably do that you got to start doing that yeah yeah that's because you're big time now <laughs> i mean once you do that you don't want those ladies coming up or oh, maybe yeah. you do all right keep your real names <laughs> <laughs> uh, you definitely want girls you coming said... up to your room thank you guys for coming out and doing this it's amazing to have you here thanks, thanks man, man. Yeah, it's, so it's awesome it's awesome to watch like how quickly this is all for us in the States, mm, yeah. like happened for us. Yeah, sure. And let me tell you something. We do a lot of shows, and I'm going to, not to any disrespect to any other band who we deal with or DJs who we deal with, it's huge for us. Like, you guys are, it's like on point right now. I mean, every phone call is about you guys. Oh, wow. It's craziness, <laughs> you know? And uh, how is it affecting you guys? I think we're still kind of um, realizing it's happening over here, because obviously, like, Latch for us is two years old. Um, yeah. But over here, everyone's just kind of getting it now, um, which is you know great because we get to you know re-experience it all over again, and yeah. it's, it's really fun. And we and get... you don't have yeah, you've already made the screw ups. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to try and do it better around this time, I right. guess. But um, I mean, yeah, it was great, and it's had such a long life. Like we're so proud of the song for that. Um, and I think yeah, you, you know, we've only done three shows this trip so far, um, but they were all enormous. Um, and and I mean, a huge part of of helping Sam. Yeah, maybe. I, I think, I mean, when Sam someone doesn't need any help, yeah, when, he does, and, and he does it. And I didn't mean good. it that way, but you know what? It's you guys did. I mean, that yeah, was we the, were just the first people he worked with, man. That's all yeah. it was. I mean, we all wrote a, like a song we're really proud of together, but I mean, yeah, he would have done it himself anyway. Um, without Latch, I'm pretty mm. confident. Yeah, and I think when people are like when they first hear the song, and and then you know, the first thing you do right now is just to go online and you check you guys out and see live stuff. And when you see you guys live performance, it's very different than just watching. Any other, you know, electronic? Mm, yeah, sure. Well, I mean, it's something we've happen, always you know? wanted to do. Like it's something we've always done our whole lives: is play instruments and actually create music. Like you know, from like making music rather yeah. than just computers. And, and, so you know, and a lot of musicians get kind of weirded out with electronic things and things like that. What do you feel about that when people start? You know, like guitar musicians which by the way where you guys are from yeah yeah well that's it's like the hotbed of every mm. rock guitarist that's ever lived i think there's from... some bands that do it amazingly like especially still in rock music as well or, or, or not rock music but say not dance music like bands like radiohead use yeah. an incredible amount of electronic yes things and uh but you know for us the influence we took for our show is more from people like subtract and james blake and that kind of thing where it, it's, yeah. it's more keeping the original sound of the record rather than sort of just playing it as a band. We wanted to right. maintain the sound. And that's with the live show. And I mean, with, with the record, it's, you know, we, we take massive influence from, from bands, yeah. you know, not just electronic artists. Like the songwriting side of what we do could easily be put into a band format. Like the yeah. only thing that sets us apart from a band is the, the production. And that's the thing. And that's what I was saying to you guys before. It's, it's one of the great things about what you guys do when you're live. It's a show. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's not one person standing up there. Or, and let's be honest... A lot of DJs roll up there, the hands go up in the air like four or five times. Well, uh, Da Vici. Kind of, right. <laughs> da Vici. You know what I'm saying? Like, things like that happen. You guys have brought back, like, uh, like an entertainment <laughs> part of what this music is, which is amazing Thanks, and man. awesome. Yeah, I mean, Thank for you. us, it, it wasn't even like a mission or anything like that. You know, we're not trying to point out the people who don't do anything or right. anything like that. We're, we're just doing what we do well, welcome, welcome to the world of being around the World Wide Web, and everybody does it for you. You know what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying? It's just something we always knew we do like when, when we wrote songs you know we didn't know how to dj we wrote the first few disclosure songs and people were like can you come play and we were like we don't know how like so we better make a show and, and our show was was live so that's just how it's always been since then obviously we've learned to dj like we're djing in here tonight so yeah it's but that's you know really fun as well because it's something that's we've only picked up in the last five five years or so and um it doesn't come as naturally and it's a bit of a challenge which we actually really enjoy so when you do a record like this and it gets critical acclaim like it's been getting and it blows your mind. You got, I mean, I'm sure you guys are like, really? This is really yeah, happening. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you yeah know? of course. And then you think to yourself, how much pressure is this for the next thing that you guys are doing? Or, I mean, literally probably when you guys are on stage playing songs that you already play, you're already thinking of new things. You're like, man, time to run home. Do something like that. Yeah. What's the pressure I, about all this happening right now? I don't think on that? there's not, I don't feel too much pressure um, for the next record. I, I feel more just... Um, 
lucky to be you know when a record's successful you get more time to work on the next one whereas yeah. you know if, if it doesn't go so well you have to kind of you know go really quick to get yeah, the next yeah. one out um so we've been lucky in that and um we've just been getting some good ideas for the next record but again yeah we haven't really even started too much on it yet best festivals so far that you've done since you guys have done this for the last couple of years What's oh, your wow. favorite festival? Look, <laughs> everybody knows. I saw you guys at Coachella. Yeah, at yeah. the K Rock House. It was fun. It's definitely I mean, up there. Yeah. That's a nice I place. For but the US, in yeah, Europe, Co- in Europe, was... you guys have been doing it way longer than we have. You know, and having great shows like that. Mm. Favorites. Um, yeah, it's Coachella here. It was good, but we did just play Bonnaroo, and I'd say the crowd was even crazier at Bonnaroo. <laughs> so funny. That's yeah, crazy. Absolutely mad. We um, were just talking about Bonnaroo before with friends of ours. Like how, like when it gets rainy and muddy at Bonnaroo, yeah. not too fun. But this year probably it's funny there. though because like everyone was saying that this year they were like oh it's, it's so crazy muddy you need to like you know bring down your waterproofs and all this and we were like oh really wow okay your wellies but a bit yeah wellies but i mean <laughs> but we're english so we went expecting like it to be really really bad and then right. we got there and we were like you should see glastonbury like, yeah. <laughs> like this seriously is nothing. it, was this it is every funny. every year glastonbury is a nightmare yeah, yeah. Right? well that's awesome um tonight what do you expect when you do smaller clubs like this, more intimate things? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's the same question everybody asks you: the big shows or the small shows, or it doesn't even. Yeah, matter. I mean, this is the first one we've ever probably done at, at a time like was it nine o'clock we're on or something? Especially yeah, just a competition that really. early. So, to be honest, I've got no idea what's going to happen. Yeah, it's uh, hard we've to say. Never done it before. That's but awesome. um, yeah, I mean, obviously we do DJ and clubs, and when we DJ, we do prefer smaller clubs. The live show belongs in a big big space but yeah the djing is good for little sweaty clubs yeah well howard guy thank you guys for hanging out with us thanks thank man. you for doing this this is gonna be fun i'm excited yeah me too yeah, let it go man do whatever yeah. have fun <laughs> you know things can happen a little earlier we'll just get a little lit a little earlier than usual you guys just open a free bar and it'll be great yeah no it's done it's done done deal oh, well, yeah, yeah, everything's gonna be fine there you go <laughs> all right everybody energy 1037 disclosure